Hey guys, this is Candy Natural, and um, I want to start off by apologizing for the lighting in the video. Um, I'm using my webcam because my camera is dead and I can't find the um, charger. So once I find it, then I will definitely continue to do videos with the actual camera because this webcam thing is not working. Um, hopefully one day I can get me an Apple, save up money, so that I won't have this problem again. But till now, this is what I'll be using. Um, I am just wearing my hair in a puff today. Didn't slick it down to anything, just pulled it back. Um, I've been wearing it like this since, um, Friday. So, um, which is kind of part of what I'm about to do. I'm going to do a product review. And, um, the product that I'm going to be reviewing is a product that I thought was new, but apparently after I bought it and used it, I saw a lot of people on YouTube have already found it, which I should have known. It's a lot of stuff on YouTube that I don't know about that a lot of people already do know about. So I just want to share this with everyone so that, um, you know, if you're interested in getting it, purchasing it, you should. And Well, I'm going to say you should right now, but I'll just tell you what I think about it. So the product... Target, or I got it from Target, it's called Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, hope you can see that, and um, it's said to be for thick curly hair, um, it's really called Organic Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie, with coconut oil, silk protein, and neem oil, and it says it moistures, body, and shine, and then... On the side, on the label, it has a little story, which I really like the label and the, the packaging. And it talks about what it does not have. Um, no parabens, no, I hope that I'm saying this, date, saying this right, phosphates, no paraffins, no gluten, no propylene glycol, no mineral oil, no synthetic fragrance, no animal testing, meaning they don't use this on animals to test the product out, um, no PAVA, no synthetic color, no DEA, no animal ingredients, and no sulfates. I'm going to turn this down so I can watch Keisha Cole. And they're yelling, of course. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, and this is what it looks like. And pay attention to how much is in the container. Um, if you can see that. I hope you can see it's thick. Um... I want to say like a pomade, but it's thick, kind of like the Cantu Shea Butter um, Cream Leave-In Conditioner. Oh, when I say, when this thing said no artificial fragrance, if it's true, this thing smells exceptionally good. It smells like coconut oil with, with like some type of body spray from Bath and Body Works. I don't know. I don't know, but it smells really good, so that's always a good thing as well. Um, what else? It gives you what coconut oil is good for, what silk protein is good for, and what neem oil is good for, also on the label. Um, it says coconut oil is good to hydrate and protect hair from heat and chemical damage. Silk protein is good, for, it reduces breakage, strengthens hair, and smooth, smoothiness, and, or smoothness, and silkiness, silkiness. I don't know what my problem is today, sorry. Then it says neem oil is an age-old Ayurvedic oil that strengthens hair and provides brilliant shine. Okay, so just to get into the um, product. And I want to see where it's made at. I didn't even think about it. Uh, it says made in USA. I don't know. Anyways, um, but I think it's, it was started with a company or a, a um, lady from Syria alone in 1912. That's what the company, the um, label says. Also, when I went to Target, um, they had other products. They had like a milk, a protein milk. They had a shampoo. They had a um, conditioner. And they had um, a leave-in conditioner spray. 
everything's ten dollars, every product, which is really good, I think, for the amount that you get in here. This is a twelve ounce um, bottle or jar container, whatever you want to call it. And like I said, I use this on my head. I did a twist out on my head, which I'm gonna tell you how it went. Did a twist out on my head, put probably a dime size of it, not even a dime size, a little bit of it, um, maybe a yeah, probably a dime size of it, um, and this is how much is still remaining. I got this on Thursday, and this is how much is left. My whole head, and I got a big head. I got thick hair. So, um, what was I going to say about Oh, so this is supposed to, you know, enhance curls or whatever the case may be. I got thick hair, real thick hair. I don't know if it's, I think it's 4C because it's like the kinkiest and kind of cotton. I don't know, cotton-like, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying, but anyways. In the, most of my hair is like that. In the back, I have looser curls, probably like 4B or so. So I use this. I wash my hair. I condition my hair. Um, then after that, I put some coconut oil in there, and I started to, to transfer my hair all over. I applied this on here as well, and to transfer my hair all over. Um, then after that, I went to sleep, let it air dry, whatnot. When I woke up in the morning, my hair was so soft, extremely soft, like soft. I loved it, and my hair smelled so good. So this definitely moisturizes your hair. It definitely provides um, shine, and it smells good. As for my curls, no. It doesn't define curls, if that's what you're looking for, at least for not my hair. I think it's for looser curled hair, but not for me. Um, I still had a nice twist out, but it wasn't as nice as it would have been if I used like some type of foam or if I had, um, I don't know, used straight water or maybe gel. But like I said, I really liked how it looked. It was really soft. And I ended up putting it into, uh, making it into a twist out. Um, definitely a little goes a long way. Like I said, you see how much I use. It's worth $10, I think at least. It's a very good conditioner. Um, and I really don't have anything bad to say about the product besides the fact that on my type of hair, it doesn't enhance curls at all. Um, it's not sticky. It doesn't leave a film. Um, I haven't tried it with that Eco Styler Gel yet, but I'm going to try it. Um, because if I can use this under my or on my hair first and then do the Eco Styler Gel and not have any flake or film, that would be great because the Cantu Shea Butter can't mix those two together at all. So I'm going to try that, and I'll tell you how that comes out. Um, I originally planned on doing a coil, doing some coils, a coil out um, with this. But now as I'm thinking about it, I don't know if it's going to work. I don't want the crunchy feeling for a twist out, though. I'm not supposed to start a coil out with the Eco Solid Gel. I'm going to figure out something. But yeah, that is my review on this product. In regards to price, I would definitely, I think this will last me six months, maybe longer. In regards to... Um, the actual effectiveness of the product is good to condition your hair. Not good to, um, to find curls. In regards to the smell, excellent. Excellent. And what else? In regards to consistency or whatever, the, the feel, excellent as well. Not oily, um, not too dry, nothing perfect. Like, it, I just love it. So, yes, this will definitely become one of my staple products. So... Um, I hope, oops, I'll try that now. You can go get it at Target, and they also have a website, www.shaymoisture.com. And I hope you guys check it out, and if you do, do a review and let me know what you think of it. All right, bye, guys.